Okay, so the next project is going to be to tidy up these door panels. Um, so I'm going to try and take that off. And I don't know if I'm just going to clean it. I might dye that fabric. You can see all the corners need pushed in tight. Um, so I don't know what I'm getting into. But I'll give it a try, I guess. Hopefully I can just put it back if I don't mess anything up too bad. So We'll see. Uh, they've got a good seat cover on it. One of the next projects in line is to take out the seats and then paint the floor with the Eastwood heat and sound deadener paint. So, I, and I'd like to do something with the headliner. I don't know if I'll just dye it. I don't want to spend money on the headliner right now because the list includes tires, shocks, window seals, door seals, and the money just keeps adding up. So I, I'm not opposed. Yeah, the headliner's on the list, but it does not have to be immediate. The only bad part about the headliner is that corner back there where it's ripped out. Um, so I got the door panel off. But, like they say, you gotta break a few clips to make an omelet or whatever. Um, so it's a two or three piece door panel. I don't know what to do with this waxy cardboard business that rips when you pull the clips that don't want to come. So, I'll try and figure something out. Um... So this is interesting to me. It still has the black paper. But whatever was in there, I think it was a liner on the inside of the door. Let's see if I can use my light and my hand. So it's a whole I think it was some kind of cardboard liner on the inside of the door. That's all coming out. I'm gonna put some rust converter in there and vacuum it out and who knows what else. So I took that piece out, left that up there. He has fault paper. Obviously, I need to vacuum that out. Put some rust converter in there. Oh well. More worried about the door panel going back on than this minor stuff. So I got off door panel number two, and once again, I find the whatever it was tar paper mat used for sound deadening is stuck inside. So I get to yank that business out. Um, not a huge deal. Those panels though, man, they do not like to come off. You've probably had that experience too. Um, I ripped a whole bunch of the clips and stuff. They're two part door panels. There's a bottom part and then a upper part. I'll show you the ones you can see. So I'm glad to see this. This is an old patch uh, from either the panel being weak or that so somebody's patched that and it looks like they use some kind of stainless, maybe it was aluminum, I don't know. I'm surprised to see the rust on it and yet it's still very shiny. Um, so I'm glad to see that because that had been my only solution also um, for the other panels the, the front door panels um, where I had ripped out the slat slots from the uh, door tabs or the interior tabs you know I didn't I didn't know what I was gonna do to try and fix that so 
I just ended up putting uh, some metal flashing on it um, in numerous different places and got so I got the best glue I could find I've, I've used this stuff before on other stuff it's pretty cool it does expand it's almost like a spray foam looking thing when it expands and it, um, so I had a few problems using it but and then I painted that uh, rust-oleum rust reformer I did it on the inside of that first door and the strip and then I just used some contact cement to get these panels to get the stuff stuck back down again um, so uh, I'll show you the front side of it so they're real dirty and nasty but they're getting to be more solid so I'd like to replace the clips with plastic but I don't think that's going to be doable because I haven't seen a plastic clip that would line up with the hole correctly so I'll probably try and find metal again so these seams I don't really know what I can do to help pull them back together I'm gonna try something but I don't know what so that's where I'm at so far well keep going piddling away so I've got all the door panels off and only one of them had a rat's nest in it or a mouse nest so it's old there's no live mouse in there um but you can see what I'm got to work with hopefully we can get that rust stopped from behind I don't know that I'm gonna fix the holes yet so the glue requires pressure for two hours that's what it says so clamps and more clamps and more clamps um, I have another set I believe of panels door panels that need done so I'm gonna start wire brushing and uh, vacuuming go from there good-looking 54 Hudson <laughs> 